Hello guys, I'm going to be doing a quick little Halloween tutorial. Today I'm going to be transforming myself into a with some American body art fixation primer I'm using Krylon Alcohol Color in there. It's kind of like an alabaster shade. Adding a new layer so it'll be nice and opaque. Just gonna set it with a big old puffy cloud, the powder puff, all over. Even though it's face paint, it can still crack. This will prevent it from cracking. I'm just going in and adding some dimension using the pastel dream palette from give me glow I'm using the lilac purpley color Putting it in the crease as well and around the eyes. Starting out the contour, bridge of the nose, forehead. You guys know these steps.
Now I'm just going to take the Pimney palette and use the two shades I normally use for contour. The darker purple one was the one I used mainly. And also this palette broke. But I'm going to keep on using it and just put some tape around it. Don't get rid of stuff if it's still good. I'm just using a Krylon eye face liner in black for the eyebrows and I start off using it around the mouth just so I can get a general shape of how I want the more bring out more depth to the face and all that and I'm just blocking out my lips getting rid of the color because I'm a vampire I don't want any life to my lips yet. So I switched to a nappy pencil and I'm just using that to line the eyes. Disabled hairbrush to perfect everything. Right now, here's my favorite part of that made this whole look really come together, the nose. I gave myself a vampire nose and I love the contour, the shading, the shape. I'm gonna be using more of this nose style for future videos. So yeah, it's really fun. I love it. It's so cool. Here's 
where I kind of like was just kind of goofing around trying to figure out what I want. But I'm just going in doing my highlights and all that using that alabaster Krylon aqua color to add the highlights and all that going around the lips, eyes, and just perfecting the nose. I want it to look very like a bat because Marceline is a vampire. how the uh, liner turned out so I'm just erasing it using the aqua color and then just disappearing that so it's kind of becoming more of a highlight area than the eyes but yeah still worked out very lovely and I liked it a lot more the shape Pimney palette to <clears throat> deepen up the eye areas, and then using it a little bit. Pastel Dream palette just to blend that out a little more, the darker purple. everything so I'm just going in with the aqua color one more layer on the neck then I'm just taking the pastel dream palette adding the purple for depth first and then I'm gonna add the darker purple on the receding parts of my neck Now I'm just going in with a bit more highlight, same aqua color, because I really wanted to alter my face. And that's the fun part. That's the fun part of makeup. You can make yourself look like a completely different thing or creature or person. Very fun. Alright, and then my Marceline is not nice. She eats the candy people, so I wanted her to look ravenous a little bit. So I'm taking a I think it's it's a K Beauty brand like lip tint. I'm using like two different colors to start off. Putting the lighter color first, and then I'm gonna go in with the darker color right in the middle. Start to kind of smudge it out. This is where I added the 
darker color right in the more centered part of my lips and yeah and I even add it to my eyes just cause I'm like why not I'm gonna look a little bloody a little bloody cute but bloody So I used the Pro Air liquid alcohol based paints I have. I have a few of these. I might get some more when they're on sale. They're really nice and they last long. The only thing is that if you're not a big fan of alcohol like smelling products, you won't like it. So I don't recommend it. And yeah, it stays all day. It lasts for a long time. The colors are really vibrant and you don't have to actually set this because it sets by itself. It dries because it's alcohol-based paints. So yeah, I just use different colors. So I'm start off with a red. Then I'm using a darker maroon. And yeah, I'm just really making my marshmallow nice and bloody. Speckling some blood, some little blood splatters, being nice and bloody, going down the neck as well. So, yeah. some parts of the area to look a little bit um old like she fed like earlier in the day so i just added that alabaster um aqua color over it to make it look a aged a bit more certain parts of my mouth
just finalizing the look. Doing our hair and all that. And yeah, having some fun. Ciao.